Good day, everyone. Welcome back to this channel with Islamic Greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So, quickly, let's take a look at these problems. And this problem is involved simultaneous linear equation. That's a logarithm equation that involves simultaneous linear equation. So, let's take a look at it together. Now, the question reads solve the simultaneous equation. So, we have log x in base 2. We have log x in base 2 minus log y in base 2 is equals to 2. That's our first equation given. That's a pair of something that equation. This is one and this second one. Now, let us um, take this back from um, log to from log to just a linear word equation. And how do we achieve that? I've explained all these principles before that when you have the same base, you can see we have the same base here. So you expect to bring out one base, which is going to be log in base 2 bracket. So this is x minus change to word division that's x over y is equals to what 2 so if you take the log of both sides in base 2 you will have x over y is equals to 2 raised to power 2 and the same thing as saying x over y is equals to 4 so we have so we have um, x over y is equals to 4 so we have let me write it out x over y is equals to 4 and this same thing as saying x is equals to 4 y we call that equation one so we have solved this and bring it out in this form we eliminate the word the logarithms and we bring it in this form so that's our equation one similarly we do the same thing here we have log in base two x minus y is equals to three take the log of both sides this one you don't need anything you don't need to start saying okay since they have the same base but this one is already together can you see that they're already together. So what you need to do is just take the log of both sides to base 2. So when you do that, you will have x minus y is equals to 2 raised to power 3, right? So and that will give us x minus y is equals to 8. And this is equation 2. So you combine equation 1 and 2. So let's combine. Combine 1 and 2. So if we do that, we have x equals to 4y, equation 1. And we have x minus y is equals to 8, equation 2. Now, from the, from the equation 1, we are told that x equals to 4y. That means that we can substitute equation 1 in equation 2 to get the value of what y. So, let's substitute. So, substitute equation 1 in 2. So, if we do that, that means anywhere we see x now in equation 2, we are going to put 4y. So, this equation 2 becomes 4y, which is x now, then minus y is equals to what? 8. Of course, 4y minus y give us 3y is equals to 8. So we divide both sides by 3. So the value of y is equals to what? 8 over 3. Or you take it to um take it back to mixed fashion or even decimal. So this is going to give us 2 number 2 over 3. So we have gotten the value of y to be equals to 8 over 3. Similarly, we are going to replace that value of y back into equation 1 on equation 2 to get the value of x. So let's replace. Replace y equals to 8 over 3 in equation 1. Let's use equation 1. So equation 1, we have x equals to 4y. So that means anywhere we see what y, we put what 8 over 3. So this becomes 4 bracket 8 over 3. So when you multiply out, 4 times 8 gives 32 over 3. So the answer is 32 over 3. Or in the mix for, um, sorry, this is a, a fraction 8 over 3. Or 2 on over 2 over 3. So we can also take this one back to mixed fraction 2. And that will give us 10 on number 2 over 3. So it is either 32 over 3 or 10 on over 2 over 3, even in decimal. And that is all for today. So this is how you go about solving questions on logarithm equation involving simultaneous linear equation. So, but if you have any question, you can drop in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to my channel. Turn on the bell notification to receive any updates from this channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.